Hello, everybody. I have Mr. Chris, Par Mr. Perry Holmes himself here with me today. We are honored. He flexed on us. Hey, okay? guys. He flexed on us, right? <laughs> we were, he flexed because we were out here recording and he we were going to go to him, right? We're in this big master plan community. And yo, he just walked up on us like he got our location yeah. here. He got he owned this place. man, oh, right? Like he came from a private jet or something and just walked up, okay? Man, I, I drove past and I saw, I said, look at these people. They look amazing. Let me find out who they are. And it has to be my family, you know? So yeah, we were not running, you know? So that's what just, happened. He just all around Devonshire, okay? <laughs> so we thought today we were just brainstorming you guys and he is gonna drop some knowledge on us that he wants you guys to be calm and know that the market is okay mm -hmm. and why you should still come and get a new bill and why definitely come and get it with him. Not just cause yeah. he fine y'all, okay? <laughs> but for other reasons. So he's gonna tell you that. Yeah, so like, like she was saying, um, the market is okay. Now we do understand that there are some things that are changing within it, but change is always good, right? Mm -hmm. And it's always good when you have the right circle and the right people that's gonna help you navigate through that change. So again, like I was telling her, a lot of realtors aren't like her. A lot of new home sales professionals aren't like myself. Say, say that again. Nobody's like Brandy, nobody's like you, okay? Uh, that's true, that's true. Oh, we so good. It's so good. It's, it's, it's a like, little. You, you know when you ain't feeling too good, you, you take some BC. Right. So we like BC right. powder right now. You know, that's what's going on. <laughs> you know, okay. so and, and the only reason because you always have to think about people that are uh, SMEs, right? And they're subject matter experts, and that's what we are. You know, and and that part helps you get through these times like this. So the market is changing, and again with that. Let's talk about some of the things that you have to know and some of the things you have to understand within this change. So uh, if you want to think about some scenarios or uh, questions, yes. we can talk so about that. So we know now that in the, the, the rush of this summer, mm -hmm. it was a huge weight on homes, right? Yeah. They couldn't get in. Like That's they would true. come and you were like sending them back. So as they walk <laughs> in, you're like giving them the sad face, like That's I'm so sorry true. and sending them back. But now it's not that situation, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So is that something for them to be alarmed with? Because it seemed like it's like going to the club and the land loan. Yes. You know, they're they, they going to stand in there. They want the they club with the long line. You know what I mean? <laughs> Mm -hmm. And so we're wanting them to know that just because the line is no longer long, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that it ain't jumping over here in Devonshire. Wow, Karen, no. Brandon, that's a, that is right. A great is that a good name. analogy? That's a great analogy. Okay, I, I okay. Love that. So. With that being said, we always understand supply and demand. We learned that in elementary, high school, middle school, whatnot. So yes, a lot of builders have built so many homes to anticipate all the influx of, of people coming in, right? Mm -hmm. Which that is a huge benefit to the consumer, to the home buyer, regardless of the type of loan, because now you don't have to stress. You don't have to worry about the bidding wars and all these other things, which they still do exist. And now you can come in and be like, okay, well, Brandon Chris, this is what I'm looking at. What can we do with that? And then it allow us to kind of go through that whole process the right way so you can understand what's going on. So now it's like, I want to go into a store where I have options, right? Yes. Yes. Everybody loves options versus coming in and you just taking what you get, what, what's there. Right, I you wanted know? blue pants, but yes, I can't get I them can't blue pants. They say, we ain't got blue, but he go to brown. <laughs> yeah. And you like, well, I guess I'll take brown. I mean, mm -hmm. it ain't what I wanted, but I need pants, you That's know? That's true. And so, so you're trying to tell me that you guys are basically on top of it. You guys yes. have created an environment to now they have choices again. Yes. Right. You alleviate yes. that stress for them now, right? Yes. You don't want them worrying about going under contract in mm -hmm. August or June, July, and can't get into their home until the next year. You guys mm -hmm. have thought ahead of the trend. That's you said, true. let's build enough. So That's we true. can be loyal to our people where we can get them what they want. Exactly. You know? Cause exactly. I went into you guys office and now you're not saying, oh, we only, we only got this one. <laughs> Your client better take it or lose it. Mm -hmm. I mean, really sign now yeah. because I got somebody else waiting mm -hmm. to sign for that one. That's where true. you can say, look, sit down with me. Mm -hmm. Like, come come have coffee. Let's, let's talk, talk about it. Let's, let's talk. talk now. We can talk a little <laughs> bit talk. now and get you what you want. It's no mm -hmm. stress, right? That's true. So, That's Perry true. Holmes, listen, no, no, no. We ain't even finna get him the hype. Chris, <laughs> right, right? Chris has done something to make this process so seamless mm -hmm. and more of an enjoyable experience versus a stressful that's true. experience. Right? I totally agree with that. And then that's the, that's the great part about it. And when you talk about options, it's about having great options. Mm -hmm. Not just okay, not just good, but great options. Mm -hmm. And when we're still building these showcase homes, 
like the model. And some of the homes have a lot more upgrades than the model. Mm -hmm. So the, the pick of the litter is the cream of the crop. Mm -hmm. And that's what I really love about what we do here at Perry and what we do here at Devonshire specifically. And again, too, apples and oranges, you have to compare that because in certain areas, they don't have the flexibility or the bandwidth to actually do some of the unique things we're doing here. Um, for example, we are doing a, a incentives where it's $10,000 have it your way pretty much how you want to tailor it whether it's towards a home where it is towards closing costs where there's moving packages all of those things so people the relationships like that tend to tailor things for the best interest of our clients and that's what i'm really excited about and i'm proud of to able to do that when someone walks in and i know for a shadow of doubt that we're going to make sure that we we exceed their expectations mm -hmm. and he does <laughs> and we have experience together where we give up things, they give mm -hmm. up things so that we can get what's best for the client. Because that's yeah, our number that's one goal, true. That's is true. getting what's best for the client. Chris has offered ideas that no no slugs to Paris, because he is an innovator, okay? Mm -hmm. Seriously. He downplays a lot, you know? And we got Dre behind the camera, because I know, <laughs> you know, whenever I hype up another guy, Dre kind of get in his Dre's feelings. Dre's the man, Dre's but the man. But he's the man behind, he's the man behind I, I am it, a you know? jealous. Yeah, I know, I know I, you, I you know? Jealous. But it's okay. <laughs> But Chris does something, he, he brings more insight to help you guys, right? He's even given ideas, we're gonna go slide right into these high interest rates, right? Yeah. And we're gonna transition because something that you do, that because he's modest over here in his vest, okay? <laughs> um, he takes some of those credits and help you guys use it towards buying down those interest rates. Yeah. When that's something huge because it impacts your monthly payment, yes. sometimes two, three hundred dollars worth of changes, right? Yeah. So, Listen. Okay, okay, you you're right. You're so right. Modest, so, okay? so tell good. us about those interest rates and what you guys are doing to stop people from worrying about these high interest rates. That's true. So um, we always have a lot of conversation off camera. So we're diving in there and giving you guys a little bit of tidbits of what we talk about. So with interest rates, they're steadily going up. They actually just went up just recently. Yesterday. And so, yes, that's correct. <laughs> yeah, it was yesterday. It was <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. So we always strategize, okay, let's get ahead of the issue. Because a lot of people are being reactive versus proactive, right? Yes. So that's the huge difference on this relationship and what we try to do for our clients. So with interest rates, we always try to talk to the homeowners or the clients like, okay, where are you comfortably financially? Mm -hmm. It's not where you know you can afford because you might can afford $3,000 a month, but you can't do anything else. So we always think about the quality of life. So mm -hmm. on that 3,000, let's talk about what can we do to get it to be $2,800 a month? Mm -hmm. So that way it's more or less giving you that peace of mind. When I get into this house, get into this mortgage, because you gotta think about it, taxes might go up, mm -hmm. whatever's going on, and then you have to prepare yourself for that influx on price, right? right? So with interest rates, if I discount the house $10,000 or whatnot, okay, may your payments might change five, 10 bucks, 15 bucks, I don't know. But if I use that money to buy down that rate, and this is some this is some toolbox stuff that I'm sharing, oh, wow. that I shouldn't be giving he, up all he, my right. stuff, that's right. right? But that's that's how loyal he is. Yeah. That's, you know, that's why he is who he is, because he's looking out for what's best for the client. Although he works and is Mr. Perry Holmes, he's still looking out for you guys and that's not Perry Holmes. Hey, so. Perry Corporate, they might be watching this video. <laughs> That's fine. No, like, we're we giving secrets out I'm here, so pay attention and take you. notes. Okay, what's those <laughs> secrets and notes? You know what I mean? And, and then, Perry, my, the company I partner up with, because I always say partner because I don't work for anyone but my oh, clients, amen. right? Oh, come so, on. and that, that's super transparent. Come they on. know that I'm always going to put the client first, right. right? It's always going to be the client, the company, and then myself because that's I know right. I'm always going to be good. But if I take care of those individuals, and we're going to slide the realtor in between the yep. client and Perry, yep. right? Yep. So, it's the client, it's my realtor, it's Perry, and then myself, yep. right? So, if I know I'm always going to be good, those top three are always going to be great. So, with that being said, we always try to make sure, okay, how are we gonna position ourselves for the future for our clients, right? Okay. And we always talk about this off the camera. Uh, we're all like brainstorming, okay, well, and we create these situations before they happen. Yeah. So when it comes, we're like, we've already talked about yeah. this. We planned Let's, ahead. Yes, we, we planned ahead, you know. Mm -hmm. And Devonshire, this community is steadily growing. You know, Forney is one of the top places in the United States of forest growth. So I, I happen to be in that nuclear state where everything is coming this way. So with that coming, let me see what separates me from the next person, mm -hmm. from the next 
uh, builder. I talked to her. What separation? It's a lot that separates her from the next realtor. I'll yeah. be transparent about <laughs> I that. I'm trying to tell everybody. I it's swear. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. And she's modest as well too, especially the cameraman. He's modest as well mm -hmm. uh, because he's detailed. He's attention yeah. to detail, and that's what you want. Again, you do want experts in the mm -hmm. field. You, I mean, and it doesn't matter how long you've been in the industry. It's like how you're in tune and how much are you always continually learning and growing right. in the industry. And, I, and I'm so excited about that because every new challenge or situation, we get geeked up on like yeah, how we're going to overcome it. Like right. how are we going right. to gonna make things. This ain't going to stop yeah, us. What we going to do? How we going to kill it? Like, <laughs> yes. We're proactive. Like, okay, so this is going so on. What we going to do? Good question. Go ahead. Go ahead. For okay. you. Yes. Um, as far as property taxes, nice. new build. You mm -hmm. you lived in Devonshire for how long? Hey, don't be telling where I live. I don't ah! know. I don't know. I don't. My bad. He what, does that what, to me what, too. One of my properties in Devonshire, and I do stay here once a week. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead. Go ahead. Chris, right? All right. Well, you you live in a new build home. Let me. Well, you have a property that's a new build home. Yes. Have you seen any changes over time with the property taxes and how does that affect your monthly payment? Yes, and so that's been happening across the board everywhere, right? Because your first year when you buy a new construction, you're gonna be, uh, your taxes is gonna be assessed on unapproved land. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have a lower payment. And what, so, go me, ahead. what advice would you give someone who's looking to buy a new construction too? So first foremost, get the right realtor and get the right builder. That's gonna educate you because that, a lot of people, you don't know what you don't know, right? So I'm glad we're talking about this. And that's where we were talking about earlier where we always try to find that monthly payment and try to get a little bit lower than that you right because with property tax is gonna change but there are also other benefits to that where you can get homestead exemption mm -hmm. which that's gonna lower it and we also think about all the different ways where you can get some tax deductions from it and that's a whole nother video that we're gonna talk about because we're gonna this we is did, ongoing we did a video this is ongoing. Ongoing. and I think he's like he fact checked in me because I said <laughs> hey Chris would be a great person to talk to because he got here when it was newer and yeah. now and that he'll be able to speak on how when you first get into it, mm -hmm. the taxes are certain that but that's a good thing because I mean that property value is going exactly. up. Exactly. The equity exactly. is growing. Even exactly. though your monthly payment is going, but your equity is growing. So Dre yeah. just fact checked. Exactly. That's and that's that was, good. That was He's a great question. To. And then Dre, you know what's so awesome about that too? Y'all are in a, is this a mud district or no? Yes it is. So now that's a huge benefit too. So you have muds and pigs. Now, pit is something that's going to stay there indefinitely. Mud tends to fall off once the bond is paid off, and both of those are bonds. Mm -hmm. And then both of those help improve the, the roads, the exterior uh, setup of the community. Because if you think about it, why would you not want to be somewhere where they constantly take care of their environment, right? Mm -hmm. I would rather pay that little bit more on that to know that my area is going to be clean. I can invite my friends and family over. Well I don't have to worry about. Yes, when you're you know, pulling into the community, there's no trash everywhere. Yeah. The yard looks good. The lawns look mm -hmm. well maintained. So yeah. you don't mind paying. And for then that. you think about this. Let's say paying for that is probably extra hundred bucks, whatever, mm -hmm. give or take. And then you're in a community that doesn't value those roles and then you get a, a pothole you bust your tire your rim mm. and then now you're paying hundreds and of dollars mm -hmm. you know consistently i would rather ride on a better road than than having to save a hundred bucks on mud or what, what have you mm -hmm. and again as more people move in that amount drops down wow that's something i didn't know mm -hmm. great now last question as far as someone who's looking to to like what has the inventory been looking like for Perry mm -hmm. uh, for the past three months? So right now we're talking about market shifting. Have y'all, mm -hmm. y'all have a lot more inventory right now or so how, how, how is that working? Uh, great question. So what I do love about Perry and the position that they put me in, I always build enough inventory to be able to to, to have it for my clients, for my realtors. So nothing really has shifted that much. I've always been consistent on what I have. So I always try to make sure I have homes that can close in 30 days all the way up to six months. Wow. So that way it gives us that option. That's kind of like the word I love to use because I enjoy having options, you know? And that's, that's what I love about how we do with our inventory. So, so what you're saying is that if you guys are looking to move within 30 days, 60 days, or even six months out, mm -hmm. reach out to Chris, hit the Definitely. subscribe, Go into our comments. We'll hold have up, his up, information to link. Hold up. <laughs> reach out to Chris. Well, I mean, we want you Please. to reach out to us, <laughs> and we'll direct you to him. 
correct. Keep to Chris. Yeah. <laughs> well, they, we're the plug, and we're going to plug you. We're the Definitely. connect. We're going to connect you with our connect. Chris doing his own business. You're right. You're right. So, so this we're, is a family feud right, right here, right? Right. <laughs> we're going to connect you. Let him know that you watched our. Let him know you watched our video. That's a good one too. Definitely. That's a good one too. Because I've had. I, so we. I'll ask that. Mm-hmm. So I've had a lot of times where we have. We our clients come from out of state, right? Yeah. And if they come from out of state at a time that we can't meet with them, and I call you and say, Hey, Chris, I got the cobblers coming mm-hmm. in from out of state. Would you mm-hmm. honor me being their agent if I've called you ahead and they told you that, Hey, our realtor couldn't come with us, mm-hmm. but she sent us over here to you? A hundred percent of the time, that's exactly what I would do. Okay. Um, and, that, and then that's why we always say relationships are the key. Relationship is more valuable than any other thing that you can build because I she trusts me enough to allow me to service her clients without being present. That speaks volume and I'm honored to do that. So 100% of the time, if a realtor tells me, hey, my clients is coming, I'm automatically registering them and I'm gonna give them the best quality of service because I want them to go back and say, hey, Chris did a great job, yeah, yeah. you know? And that's so important to have that relationship because I have heard horror stories where Realtors get cut out, whatever reason, um, and that's not a good thing as well. And speaking of that, I'm, it's one thing that did happen because of the market when we was talking about the previous building with the cancellations. Mm-hmm. So with interest rates, and we're gonna dip back into that real quick. Um, there is another builder that had 23 councils last mm-hmm. month. And all of those 23 councils, neither one of them were saved, right? Mm-hmm. And that's because they wasn't agile enough to find out what's the next right answer. Mm-hmm. So when you have a right realtor and a right builder to let you know, because easily you could have saved about 60 to 80% of, of those, those cancellations. Okay. So that means you're working on solutions. You're yes. a problem solver. Yes, yes, okay, yes, so yes. if something happens that you guys come into an issue, Chris is a problem solver. We are mm-hmm. problem solvers. We don't like to look at the problem. We look to, look to the solution. That's correct. And that's what that's you want. Correct. You want people that are looking for the solution because losing those contracts create a bigger problem. You don't have to put your houses back on the market. Mm-hmm. You're not moving. You have to rent longer. You, you know, you don't want that. So mm-hmm. come to people. Like Chris ain't had no cancellations is what he's trying to let you know. Exactly. He's trying to let you know. Cancel, right. He saved it. He, he was agile it. enough, you know what I mean? <laughs> to where he was able to save it. So that's one of the reasons why you want to reach out to us so you can get a hold to our plug. Uh, did I do it right that time, yeah, Drake? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> And we thank you guys, Chris. We really appreciate thank you, you thank and all that you are doing in this community. You guys, come check out this community. I swear. All right? Definitely. One.